So one of the things I've been involved with over the last uh, year or two is the RSA uh, Commission on the Future of Food Farming in the Countryside. And I'm really excited by that report because it feels really progressive and yet it's brought together such a wide range of people from all walks of life, farmers, uh, food sector, retailers, uh, environmentalists, the public health sector, um, and, uh, and has come up with some recommendations which are really worth a look. So I do advise anybody uh, who's got any interest in where we're going into the future to have a look at that. Um, one of the key recommendations on the farming side is that we should be using the next 10 years to uh, transition towards agroecological farming systems across the board. Um, of course, you know, people say, what do you mean by agroecology? Um, organic farming is, is the, probably the best defined uh, system of agroecology. But basically what we're talking about is working with nature um, and putting ecology first and pesticides and other sort of inputs very much last. Uh, so systems like permaculture, uh, a lot of the uh, integrated farm uh, management systems are all taking us in that direction. That feels really exciting. And now the job is to really work out what do we need to make that transition? Uh, how are we going to equip farmers to be moving in that direction? How are we going to make sure that they're going to have viable livelihoods? Because I think uh, we've got some real challenges coming up uh, as we leave the common agricultural policy. Um, we're going to make sure that make, have to make sure that farmers have got viable income streams for doing the good things that we know only farming can do to uh, ensure that we have a buoyant future for our wildlife, um, that we're addressing the climate change issues and that we're feeding people healthily and well. Thank you.